Have you ever cooked for any of those celebrities on the show? Well, the thing is, we did, um, uh, we did a, um, a Christmas special and Girls uh -huh. Aloud came round to my house and we cooked um, Sunday dinner. Yeah. Uh, no, the Christmas dinner. And um, Sarah Hardin told me about, like, you massage the turkey, don't you? Yeah. When it's dead. <laughs> <laughs> First <laughs> idea. And then she said to me, Oh, Alice, you've got to wash your hands afterwards because it spreads. The thing is, I thought it was an old wives' tale. <laughs> and I went like this. Uh, uh, <laughs> Do you know what? Well, the next uh, five days coming out, both it was disgusting. <laughs> And it's right. Is it true you've got to wash your hands after you touch? Y yes, it is. Let's not think about it right now. Right, tomato oh, puree. OK. Bon appétit. No. <laughs> <laughs> right. right. Tomato yeah. puree. Tomato yes. puree. Make a little right. hole, OK, in the centre of the pan yep. and sort of roast off that tomato puree. Now, that okay. starts to give the chicken tikka masala sauce a bit of colour. More importantly, a bit of depth and a bit of richness, yeah? Sauté off the tomato puree and that sort of gets rid of that tart, tannin flavour associated with puree. Good. Now, that smells amazing. Oh, it does. Tin tomatoes. Alan, pull your ring. <laughs> <laughs> Alan, pull... <laughs> Just ignore him. You're better than that. <laughs> tomatoes into the onions. Oh, fuck me. Here we go. <laughs> now, when did you first realise you're going to make a fortune in comedy? Huh? Well, I, d I didn't know. Um... People just used to laugh at me. I think it was the voice and the walk. <laughs> and um, it was funny. I went to a uh, fortune teller in Camden, and she said, "You'll make." Said, "You're very funny, like that." Uh huh. And I pulled the chair away. She sat down. <laughs> <laughs> and you paid money to a fortune teller to tell her she, that you were funny. She was spot on. That she went, "No, no, not about me funny." But she knew everything else about me, and she went, "Honestly, you'll make your money." Because of course, I wanted to be an actor. You see. Yeah. So I was like, "Oh no, no, no!" I said, "I won't be good at stand up. I want to act." I yeah, want to be the new cracker. But <laughs> and, <laughs> at least you listened to her, yes? Because you, you weren't a talking dog, so you, she was right. Yeah, I know, and it's yeah? funny, and then she, you know, I went back the next day, she'd gone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and is it true, before yeah, you yeah. started, yeah. you started, what, the warm-up on Jonathan Ross? Yeah, that's huh? it, yeah, it was great. I just I did it, and I met some amazing people. Uh -huh. Really, really good. Because it was like, now, the man who did it was ill. It, in, in, well, you, you don't care. No, I do, I do. <laughs> I do, I do care. He's got a lot of time on his hands, so he should be doing the warm-up for you. All right, right. Oh, I get it. We're, we're going to blend the sauce now. OK, lovely. Okay. All that into the blender, OK? Put the pan back on top of the stove, a little teaspoon, OK? I've ground it all back in there. And blend the sauce. Now, back on. Right. Blend in. Oh, I see what you're Blending that sauce, now. OK, gives it a really nice velvety, amazing texture. Gives everything really nice and fine. Take your chicken. OK? Yep. And put your chicken back into the pan. Now, we don't want to cook the chicken, just lightly sort of sauté it. Good. Nice. Excellent. Take out the spoon. Good. OK, that's nice. Good, good, good. Now, once that's blended, off we go. And look, already, it's amazing. Nice and fine sauce. Now.